All right, we got the Logic tier list, Mr. Rat Pack himself, Mr. 25% Black, so I am biracial and I can make good music. Uh, this is my favorite artist of all time. Uh, this is the guy I have the most listening time to. Uh, this is a 130-something list. This has all of his songs except, I want to say, probably Supermarket and then I think Vinyl Days because... I think this was made before Vinyl Days. Uh, there's really no song on Vinyl Days that would really crack my top 10 anyways. Uh, but Logic is obviously, he's such a great artist that a song like Growing Pains 3 or Nicki has been picked 0% of times to win. Yet he has 30 songs that have been picked as the best songs. He was very versatile. Of course, you look at his entire discography that's going to be involved here. Literally, I know all these songs by heart. Um, the Young Sinatra mixtape here, probably about 10 of these songs I know word for word. I've obviously listened. I've listened to every single album or mixtape at least 20 times, um, especially like Under Pressure and The Incredible True Story, if no, no Pressure, Confessions. Listen to these albums at least 30, 40 times. Know all the stories. No, I literally know everything about this guy. I have been listening to... I mean, he's been my number one artist on Spotify for, I don't know, like seven years or something. It's probably since... Tw I've been a fan since Under Pressure. So, uh, what, seven years. But yeah, so all of these and his discography here. I know all of these songs. Obviously, listen to a lot of them. and So yeah, you get the idea. This is going to be... A very much researched opinion. Now, my opinion is going to be different than your opinion, of course. But you can see here there's 128, uh, 147 candidates. So we're going to do a round of 256, which means that in this first round, there's going to be a lot of bye weeks, so to say. Uh, but this is going to be one of the longer, longer videos for sure. So like you can see here, there's obviously not enough songs, so... A lot of these are just going to be probably nothing. So I'm going to cut the ones that don't have anything. And when we actually get into the matchups, then we'll continue. All right, we got our first actual matchup here. I went through 72 of these. So we got Take It So Let Me Go in the end. This one's got to be the end. Um, it's, it's heavy. It's an impact. It's a big song. We're going with the end here. Then we got Ink Block versus Welcome to Forever. Okay. Well, it's definitely Welcome to Forever, but Ink Block is a good song. All right, next one here, we got The Glorious Five off of Youngest Doctor 4 versus Break It Down. This is, uh, Break It Down is an amazing song. It's it's a spacey song. It's got G.I. Echo in it. Um, it kind of sounds like Egypt. Very, very underrated song. One of my favorites. I remember listening to this in middle school. So, and I'm, I've been graduated. So Break It Down is definitely here. This is an underrated one that could go decently far as well. I recommend you listen to it. All right, this one's super tough. Why is this in the round of 256? We got Slave 2 off of Bobby Tarantino, of course, which I have the vinyl of. And... Young Sinatra 4 off of Young Sinatra 4. Obviously, Young Sinatra 4 is a heavy track. It has the Mac Miller um, two-minute part, Mac Miller part. You then have the whole second verse, effectively, where he is rapping with the perspective of being money. You know, he's like, my blood stains my face when drug deals go wrong. I'm given to the greatest of athletes when they go wrong. Um, you can cash me in check, but I'm laughing all the way to the bank. I'm pretty sure that's what he says. I'm the reason Titanic sank. But then you've got this, like, you got, you've got Slave 2, which is just, I mean, it's it's an expansion of Slave 1. And it's more of a trap song. I would rather listen to Slave 2 right now. And I think, in this year at least, I've listened to Slave 2. But this is, both of these songs are in the top 64. These are both top 50 songs, in my opinion. They gotta go now, but I'm gonna pick Slave 2. Then we got A-Girl versus No Biggie. Um, 
I don't know. Egg roll's not my favorite. It's a bit too pop for me. No biggie's not my favorite either, but this, there's a reason this one's in the round 256, so I'll just go no biggie, and it probably won't go much further. Then we got Mixed Feeling versus Young Jedi. Red Jedi, or Young Jedi with Dizzy Wright is very good. Mixed Feelings is all right, so we'll go with Young Jedi. This one's real tough. So we got I Am The Greatest, which is very much a action-packed song. It's heavy. And then you got Do You Like, where you've got Childish Gambino on the hook, and you've got Logic almost in like a pop rap, but it's like a pop rap love song, but it's not cringy. Um, and I, I would rather listen to Do You Like Than I Am The Greatest, but you have to be in a mood to listen to I Am The Greatest, and when you're in that mood, it's a great song, but we'll go with Do You Like for now. Dead Presidents 3 versus Beggin. Beggin's a great song. You know, this song's been made a, a million times, like Main Skin is the popular one. Um, Logic uses uh, one of the originals, does a little rap over it, but Dead Presidents 3 gonna be hard to beat that that one's honest dead presidents three is is in probably my final four so definitely no president dead presidents three here then we got ordinary day versus the come up this is super easy ordinary day is very much a radio song that's not good the come up is an old mixtape song i mean there's no there's no battle here Confess versus Street Dreams 2. Street Dreams 2 is one of my favorite Logic storytelling songs. It's one of those songs where you can like just think of a music video in your head. He's going through the list. Of, I'll explain it. I'll explain Street Dreams 2 when we get further into it. Because there's no need to explain the lore of this song compared to Confess. Logic No Pressure album cover. I'm assuming this is the No Pressure song. I don't know. I don't know why this is here, but if it's no pressure intro, it's no pressure intro is still better than one day featuring running Tepper. Contra versus one. Contra is a good song as, as a song that you would listen to in 2019. One is Logic's first song uh, that he's posted going under Logic and not psychological. Um, it's the Frank Sinatra song. It's the OG song. You got to go one here. Walk on by versus 5 a.m. These are two, like 5 a.m. was like a YouTube song back in the day. Walk on by, it's very much a Kanye-like song. Um, it's there's a lot of space uh, in between the the lyrics, but it's just a much more enjoyable song in my opinion than 5 a.m. Young Jesus versus Wu Tang Forever. I'm not a big fan of Wu Tang Forever to be honest. I think it's just too much. When you have every single Wu-Tang member on the song, Young Jesus with Big Limbo is a great song. So we're going to go young, young Jesus easily. Out of Sight and I Made It. I Made It is one of my favorite mixtape songs. I'm going to be saying this like literally all the... Every single Logic song is my favorite song, it seems like. Uh, but I Made It is it's a very good song. It's uh, the second to last song, I believe, on Undeniable. It's almost like an outro. Uh, but yeah, he's just saying how he made it, and I think it's better than Out of Sight, which isn't a bad song at all, uh, but I don't think it's better than I made it. Driving Miss Daisy versus Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. Okay, so I was th I didn't know if there was going to be the uh, Now and the other one with Pig Sean and Driving Miss Daisy since they're deluxes, but they are in the bracket. Driving Miss Daisy is one of the best deluxe songs on a Logic album ever. Um, Confession of a Dangerous Mind is a it's a title track to the album. It's a great song. Is it better than Driving Miss Daisy though? This seems like a perfect like round of sixty four matchup. It's hard to eliminate one of these here. I think most I know there's a lot of people that don't like Driving Miss Daisy. There's a lot of people that don't like Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. It's kind of I just realized the Adidas logo says anxiety too. That's pretty cool. Um. This one's super tough. Which one would I rather listen to right now? Pro uh, I don't know. They're both easy to listen to. They're both lyrical. And they're both good. Uh, but, uh, you know, Driving Miss Daisy with the whole, the ending with the the car and all that. It, it's, I think I'm just going to, I don't know. I'm going Driving Miss Daisy. 
Nikki versus Slave. This one's super tough, too. I pick Slave. Okay, I pick Slave, too, in the other one. So we'll pick against Slave this time because this is another super tough one. But Nikki is, it's a big Logic song. It's, a, it's an important song. So we'll go Nikki. On the Low versus Growing Pains 3. On the Low is a good song with Kid, Kid Ink and Trinidad James. Growing Pains 3 is arguably a top three under pressure, which is his best out. So definitely Growing Pains 3. Overnight versus Young Sinatra 2. Overnight's got the nice beat switch, but it's not beating Young Sinatra 2. As you can see here, we're on 128 now. So now we have found ourselves 128 songs. There'll be no more bye weeks. It is now just straight up. So here we go. No more cuts in the video. We've got 128 songs left. Let's do this. Feel good versus disgustance. Feel good for me. Slave 2 versus Worldwide. Definitely Slave 2. Worldwide. Not a huge fan of that. 30,000. This is uh, this is uh, from the original, from the 2011 mixtape. Um, Young Sinatra, it's the third track on it. It's great. Um, I think it's better than everybody. Yeah, I'll give it that. No Pressure album cover again. Okay, this isn't good because I feel like they're all going to say that. They, they could literally be talking about any of these songs, which is an issue. Um, so I'll kind of just look through this. Like, I, I think Hit My Line's a great song. GP4 is one of my favorites. Aquarius is great. Soul Food 2, Five Hooks. Um, so we'll just take this. Hopefully they're not all like this. Hopefully this is just like no pressure intro, but I still think it's better than Intermission. Intermission's a good song uh, with Lucy Rose, but I don't listen to it every single time I listen to the Carnival True Story. So we'll go with no pressure intro, hoping that's what that is. Dead Presidents 3 over Wizard of Oz any day. Wizard of Oz is him trying to be Travis Scott. Contact versus All I Do. Oh, no. So Contact is the intro to this album. It's, it's the space album, the incredible true story. And it's it's like a singing. It's a, it's a environment. But All I Do is one of the OG mixtape songs. I got to go All I Do for this one. And a lot of this, it's like, how good is a song? How important is a song? And how much repay value? That's kind of what I'm going off of. And it come on do it versus Most Definitely. Most Definitely is one of the, the better songs on everybody. Uh, but I, I like Indica Badu better. Um, him and Wiz Khalifa usually work out pretty good. Tic-Tac-Toe versus Young Sinatra 3. All right, this might not be a huge opinion. Uh, but I like Tic-Tac-Toe. It's, got a, it's a great song. So we'll go Tic-Tac-Toe. OCD versus... Not even close. Not even close. Okay, this is no pressure intro. Oh, my goodness. So, I don't even know what that other one's supposed to be. We'll pretend it was uh, Pit My Line. I don't know. We'll see. Um, hopefully, it's just that one song that's messed up. Okay, no pressure intro versus Now. I'm not a big fan of Now. The production on it isn't that great. It's, uh, it's, it's not Logic. So, we'll go no pressure intro, which is a pretty good song. Flexecution versus Spotlight is that Flexecution. Live on the Air versus Bounce. Bounce is an amazing. We go with that. Like I said, it, we're not going to give full explanation of these songs until we go a little bit further or unless we need to. Midnight versus Lost in Translation. That's easy. Highs and Lows versus Every Day. That's easy. Mind of Logic and Everybody Dies. Ooh. You see, I really like Everybody Dies. And Mind of Logic isn't a bad song. I feel like the OG Logic fans will probably pick Mind of Logic. Uh, but I like Everybody Dies a bit better. So we'll go that. No Biggie versus Relaxation. We'll go No Biggie. Um, that's that's how he says it. Are You Ready versus Take It Back. Take It Back is one of the few songs I'll actually listen to on everybody. So let's go with that. The Adventures. I don't like The Adventures of Stony Bob whatsoever. So it's what you want. I don't even care for that song. But I don't like The Adventures of Stony Bob. Oh boy. Young Sinatra 2 versus City of Stars. Young Sinatra 2, an OG Logic song, an OG Logic beat, uh, 2013, no, not 2013, uh, that was uh, Young Sinatra 3. City of Stars, though, it's, for some people, it's Logic's favorite song, and he, he basically is Kanye on this track, and it's, it's something else, and then he raps, you know, he, he has the, the famous line of, uh, people, 
don't like Drake or some, I don't even remember to be honest, but some like people don't like Drake, but if Tupac, the same guy on a drum breaks, it's something, you know, something like that. City of Stars. I really can't remember right now for some reason. One versus Young Jedi. Ah, Young Jedi. Yeah, that's close though. Anxiety versus, it's definitely Mama Show Love. Anxiety is a great song. Inception or Super Mario World? Probably Inception. Bobby versus Keanu. Ugh, I don't like either of these, really. I skip these songs usually, but Bobby's really bad. Very, it's not good. Okay, Buried Alive versus... Oh, no. I highly recommend you listen to Dear God. It's only like two minutes long. He is very emotional when, he's, when he says his uh, mom almost choked him to death. And he's, he was like crying as he was making this song. And Buried Alive, it's a... It's a great song. I'm going to pick Dear God, though. I think Buried Alive is a bit too long. It's like five minutes. Uh, but Buried Alive is a very good song. It's There's a lot of songs that Buried Alive is better than, but Dear God is pretty good in my opinion. I'm Gone versus the intro of Under Pressure. We'll go I'm Gone here. Stainless and Limitless. Oh, I love Limitless. Limitless is one of my favorites on Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. Um, Confessions is a uh, an album that not a lot of Logic fans are super, like, super uh, interested in. Oh, sorry. But I think Limitless is a great song. Is it better than Stainless? No. Stainless is the track where, before Logic tried to rap fast, like for a track like he did on Stony Bob, like this this uh, stainless that second verse was like his fastest, and every single word is understandable. It's a great song. Stewie Griffin versus Nicki. I love Stewie Griffin. I love Stewie Griffin so much. It's I'm Stewie Griffin, and my name is Brian. You know. Oh, it's the. Uh. What okay? Stewie Griffin has more replay value than Nicki, but Nicki's a great song in terms of everything that it's about how this whole song he was saying how nikki it was, it was trying to be like nikki's his girlfriend but in the end he's a slave to the nicotine i think um this is a song that's better on the first listen when you've actually figured it out but i'm going to griffin part of my ego is better than prime welcome to forever is roll call definitely welcome to forever Used to hate it, now you love it, saw my face. Yes. Homicide is way better than America. Till the end and wannabe. I like wannabe. It's only a minute long though, so we definitely gotta go till the end. The end versus the incredible true story, not even close. Not even close. Icy versus the jam. Um not at one of these songs really uh inspire me but uh probably the jam yeah just another day versus 44 more yep 44 more the come up versus as i am is it's the come up run it versus metropolis probably metropolis samples great thank you versus iconic okay so thank you is an interpolation of kendrick lamar's hold up um, this is one where he takes voicemails from all the fans. Uh, I think the first verse and I icon- or uh, thank you is better than the entire iconic track, but because thank you is like a seven minute track, it's an intro to Young Sinatra Four, and there's only like a minute of actual song. Definitely got to go iconic here. One eight hundred versus Boomtrap Protocol. Um, you know I'm not a big fan of one eight hundred, and I think Boomtrap is a great song, so we'll go Boomtrap. Life is good versus last call. It's life is good. Still balling versus wrist. Okay, so this is a battle of Pusha T versus Wiz Khalifa. Still balling oh, versus wrist. Uh, wrist just gives you another feeling, man. Wrist was in the 2K games and in Madden. Gotta go with the wrist. Under pressure. Oh, my. Serious, like... Are you serious? Okay, when I did a I did a TikTok, um, Logic March Madness. This was the final. I literally had people vote. I picked sixty four songs. 
this was the final, and I have to pick one of these right now. This is basically for the championship, then. I mean, my, my, I mean, maybe not, but in my opinion, these are two of Logic's greatest songs. This was the final, like I said. Um, I think it's under pressure. Obviously, you have uh, the second part of the song where you have him talking to his sister, telling him to stop taking drugs and stuff like that, and then that he's going to... He tries to come back home, but he can't. And then he obviously has his brother. And then he talks. He does this thing where the voicemail. And then he writes his rap. And then it's great. Growing Pains 3 is a fantastic song. My Probably my third or fourth favorite Logic song. It's Under Pressure. Illuminato Warm It Up. Easy. Easy Warm It Up. Upgrade in Numbers. Hmm. Men lie, women lies, numbers don't, I see that. Versus, I've upgraded while they hate it, will they love it, will they have it, N never fade it, I have it, because I ne never really want to complicate it. But he says it about two times as fast. It's upgrade. Common Logic, Midnight Marauder versus We Get High, definitely We Get High. All Right versus Life of a Dawn, it's All Right, uh, Life of a Dawn, of course. Commando versus The High Life, it's The High Life. I feel like I'm picking a lot of mixtape songs, but then at the same time, like his mixtape was really the all the the four major mixtapes, or the three young Sinatras at least, and then Bobby Tarantino. That's kind of what really got him signed, or he was already signed after Bobby Tarantino. But you get the idea. Uh, Forty four bars. Yuck versus Do You Like? It's the Childish Cambino for that for me. Ballin' versus Young Jesus. Young Jesus. I made it versus What's Up. Definitely, I made it. Set the tone, man of the year. It's man of the year. Killing Spree, which is uh, one of the other good songs. Compared to 9 to 5. Definitely 9 to 5. I say definitely, but it's not definite. Gang related, Walk On By. Once again, Walk On By is a top 20 Top 30, Logic song, uh, but Gang Related is up there with one of the best. Could possibly be in the Final Four. Never Been versus The Return. The Return's a great song. It, it sets up Young Sinatra for, um, compared to Never Been, which is obviously a track on the Incredible True Story, uh, but I feel like The Return's better. Legacy. It's definitely Legacy. We'll get into that later. Driving Miss Daisy versus Black Strider Man. Definitely Driving Miss Daisy. We're almost done here with a round of 128. Fade Away versus Street Dreams. All right, so now we'll explain Street Dreams. Like I said, you can you can almost feel the music video for Street Dreams too. Um, he's in the car. He's uh, he's trying to figure out who murdered his wife. Obviously, this is not real. At the end of the song, um, he was daydreaming on the way to the studio but you know it it just paints a perfect picture and fade away is one of the og songs it samples a christmas beat and it's it's very very good we'll talk about fade away later on it's fade away let me go versus never enough never enough a lot of people like let me go though lord willen's better than state of the emergency Nasty versus Soul Food. It's Soul Food. That's not even close. Addiction versus Break It Down. So these are two OG mixtape songs. Like I said, Break It Down, Jaina Echo, The Egyptian Feel versus Addiction. I like Addiction better. I'm addicted to Addiction. Also, not try everything versus Clickbait. Call me crazy. I like Clickbait. Juice versus like, whoa, and it's like, whoa. All right, we are into the round of 64. Driving Miss Daisy versus Fade Away. This is where Driving Miss Daisy l uh, loses. 44 bars is better than part of my ego, for sure. Um, uh, Stewie Griffin, yeah. Obviously, the way the bracket works is, like, I don't think Stewie Griffin's a top 32 Logic song, but it's just the way that it's been. Like, there's other songs that I've eliminated that are better than half of these. It's just the way the bracket works. 
Man of the Year is better than Feel Good. I think Never Enough versus Life is Good. There's we've had a lot of Welcome to a Forever songs. Um. The beat on this is, beat on it's great. I think Never Enough gives you more of a vibe. So we'll go there. I'm Gone, for sure. Dead Presidents 3. You know what I just realized? Why is Growing Pains 2 not in this list? Growing Pains 2 is probably my, like, second favorite Logic song. Like, my favorite songs probably are Under Pressure, Growing Pains 2, Dead Presidents 3, Soul Food, um... The Incredible True Story, stuff like that. And you're telling me Growing Pains 2 isn't even on this list? Like, why didn't they not put it on this list? So I'll just tell you that now. Growing Pains 2 is in my final four. Uh, but obviously on this bracket, apparently it's not going to be. But it will be. Dead Presidents 3 is better than Soul Food. Inception versus Everybody Dies. It's Everybody Dies. City of Stars is better than Dear God. Bye bye. Paradise versus I Made It. It's Paradise. Some of the album songs are starting to win now. All right, so we're going to, like, he didn't even, the guy didn't even include whoever made this, like, half of the No Pressure song. So we're going to pretend this is GP4 because GP4 is my favorite song on here. So we're going to pretend this is GP4, which is better than Do You Like. No Pressure Intro versus Return. It's the Return. Seriously, they should have had a lot more No Pressure songs on this list. Metropolis versus The Come Up. Mmm. The Come Up. Legacy is better than Iconic. Once again, we'll talk about Legacy later. Um, the Incredible True Story. If you know, you know. Like, whoa. It's a great song. Loss of Translation. Yup. We're losing some mixtape songs now. Stainless and clickbait. That's stainless for sure. Gang related. Easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Under pressure. Easy. This round's been pretty easy. Homicide with Eminem. Busting like an attic with a semi automatic. Chicka chicka chicka. Some shady. That kind of stuff versus. Um, here's the thing. With We Get High. I could... If you put on the instrumental... I don't even need the lyrics. I can do the entire 3 minutes and 20 seconds of this song. It's We Get High. From the back to the front door. Living on the south side. Sound on the front door. A little bit of the beauty of the kind. Whatever you need. Yeah, you get the idea. Used to hate it. Now you love it. Versus Welcome to or Forever. It's Welcome to Forever. 30,000 feet up in the sky. Versus Risk. Easy. Upgrade. Easy. Um, you know, we'll give Take It Back its credit here. It's going to the round of 32. Balance versus Tic Tac Toe. Probably Balance. Yeah. Um, Life of a Dawn with Kanye. Definitely Life of a Dawn. Hmm. We'll slave two here. Flexecution Boom Trap. It's Flexecution. I'll be interested when we get to, like, the Sweet 16 to see, like, what it ends up being. Like, if, if it, is it mixtape? Hat favored? Is it album favored? Is it a lot of one album or one mixtape? Um, all I do is better. Addiction. Yep. I feel like we're pretty even. Like, out of these 32, I feel like there's probably not a lot more mixtape or a lot more album. I feel like it's probably pretty close. Mm, yeah, I'm not a huge Count of Reeves fan there. Okay, here we go. All right, we got a Bobby Tarantino showdown. So the, the winners now go into the Sweet 16. Flexicution versus Slave. We'll go Slave. So we got one Bobby Tarantino there. Dead Presidents, three. Easy. Stewie Griffin, Stainless. All right, Stainless. So I count how many albums. We've got two albums so far. Under Pressure. So that's three album picks so far. City of Stars, definitely. That's four. That's obviously a battle between there. GP4 versus Incredible True Story. We'll go with the Incredible True Story. So that's five. Take It Back and I'm Gone. It's I'm Gone. So we got six there. Uh, battle the Mixtape here. We get high and then come up. It's, so we get high. Ooh. Life of a Dawn versus Gang Related. Life of a Dawn is great, but it's not touching Gang Related. That's seven 
albums now. Like Woe and Fade Away, it's Fade Away, that's eight. Man of the Year and Lost in Translation, we'll give it to Man of the Year there. Everybody Dies in Addiction, okay. It's Addiction though, it's Addiction. Call me crazy, but I like Legacy better. So that's nine. Wrist and the return, it's wrist. And then we'll go all I do. So yeah, all I do but all I do is better than bounce. So we have ten album and six mixtape. But that's me can that's me saying that Bobby Tarantino is an album. Bobby Tarantino and Bobby Tarantino 2, they're not albums, they're mixtapes, but not really. What I'm considering album and mixtape is before he got signed and he had this old school... Obviously, he still had it, the sound, but there is definitely a difference between Logic not having a great microphone and having different kind of beats compared to the, the mixtape. So it's technically eight mixtape, eight album, but it's really like ten album. As we go to this, the Sweet 16. All right, here we go. This is where we're really good stuff. Never enough off of under pressure versus upgrade. I got to go upgrade here and send it to the Elite Eight. I thought I just picked that. Um, Upgrade versus we get high. Um, We get high, yeah. Gang related versus I'm gone. Um, gang related. Under pressure is beating man of the year every day. Dead president service is slave. That's not even close. Wrist versus addiction. It's addiction. Fade away and stainless. Oh boy. A battle of the incredible true story. You have, like I said, you have the Christmas beat on Fade Away. It's an easy song. But I think Stainless has a bit more to it. It's got two fast flows. It's got a chorus that you can't even understand a single word. Um, hey, 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 boy. Nothing but that about these little boys. That's literally what it sounds like. Um, and yeah, I think it's, I think Stainless is a good song. So it's Stainless. Incredible Tutori versus Legacy. Okay, this is where we might lose Legacy here. So I really like Legacy because he is taking the, uh, what's the point of view? That's what I'm looking for. He's taking the point of view of his wife and taking the point of view of his kids saying, I don't care if we live in a shoebox. In fact, I'm going to look up right now, right? Legacy, logic, lyrics. Let me show you. I'm a genius. All right. So we're looking for a uh... This is not what I want. I don't want legacy records. All right, here we go. So you kind of, you kind of pause it and read on your own or whatever, but you know, went from 40 out of hours a week to 80. Nobody sacrificed like me, blah blah blah. I don't care if you live in a shoebox. Uh, I sacrificed my hundreds, fifties, ten, twenty. So dumb. I can give it to Hardigan, not my wallet. Um, and then obviously when he pretends to be his wife, it's great. Um, it's call me crazy, but it's better than the incredible true story. But that's just that's just me. City of Stars is better than all I do. Okay, here we go. Round of eight. City of Stars is beating Stainless. Battle the albums here. It's We Get High. See, here we go again. We got Under Pressure and Dead Presidents 3. Like I said, we already had Under Pressure take out my second favorite song. And now it's going to take out Dead Presidents 3, which is an absolutely fantastic song. But Under Pressure is the best Logic song. Gang related is better than Legacy. That's where Legacy is going to lose. All right, City of Stars and Gang Related. Uh, I feel like this is probably a lot of people's Final Four, or at least, um, like, favorite eight, favorite ten songs. City of Stars, Gang Related. If you know, you know. 
and then under pressure. So under pressure versus gang related. Oh boy, it's under pressure. Woo! That's the best logic song. You can see here it wins 2% of the time. It's first place, gang related. So I agreed kind of with the general population here that these were the best two songs. Fade Away. I don't know why the spotlight's there because look, it's not even, it's only picked half the time. Um, and like a head up match. I think, I guess, I don't know why a lot of people thought that's a fantastic song. Soul Food, obviously, like I said, Young Sinatra 3. There's Dead Presidents 3 right there. Um, there's City of Stars, top 12. All I do, so we weren't crazy. Where's Legacy at in this list? Like the Logic, Stainless, Confessions. Uh, I'm surprised some of these are this high up. Like Roll Call, Take It Back. So... That's this. I hope you liked that. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, there's apparently no none of these songs in here, even though Five Hooks is great, Dark Place is great, Soul Food 2, Aquarius, GP4, Hit My Line. These are all great songs. Apparently not good enough to be in the list. So there you go.